Good morning, St. Thomas More. Uh, as we move forward, I want to recognize and thank the students who chose to come face to face. We have about 1,950 students at St. Thomas More, and 1,840 of you chose to come face to face. So I'm glad you did choose to come face to face and looking forward to having a good semester. I do want to recognize though we still are in the middle of in the midst of a global pandemic and it's affecting our community on a daily basis in very real ways. Uh, we have reported five COVID cases on on Monday and three on, on yesterday. So please keep these people in your prayers as we move forward. And with that, uh, I would like us to pray for the intercession of St. Joseph's for the end of the pandemic. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Hail, guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you, Mary placed her trust. With you, Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show us a Father and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Joseph, pray for us. St. Thomas More, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'll be back momentarily for some uh, beginning of semester comments. Hey, thanks. Welcome back. Okay, uh, a couple of reminders as we start the semester. I think we're now getting into normal school and for some of you, we haven't done that in years. So I uh, just wanna remind, as I see some, some observations, we start at 8.10 and that means you're gonna need to arrive at eight o'clock. I'm gonna send a message home to your parents today to drive that message home. Uh, eight o'clock arrival is going to allow you to get to your locker, maybe a bit of brief socialization before you head off to class. But, you know, I've been in the four, I'm watching hundreds of students walk in at 810. When something starts at 810, you don't arrive at eight, or sorry, you don't arrive at 810, you must arrive earlier. And I would suggest, honestly, well before eight o'clock, give yourself a little bit of extra time, but eight o'clock is the actual arrival time for an 810 start. So please make that adjustment as you move forward. It's not worth that one extra snooze on the alarm button to end up putting yourself into the situation where you're gonna be in a lineup. You guys maybe don't know this, but if you accumulate six lates, you're gonna end up in a long line outside of attendance waiting for a late slip, and you're gonna miss the first 20 minutes to a half an hour, the most important 20 minutes of the half an hour, of your instruction on a daily basis and that's just not conducive to you doing your very best. You chose face to face, you gotta get here at eight o'clock. Okay, secondly, and this just goes out to a small portion of some of our students who are choosing to go to other schools looking for trouble. If you make that trek across the mountain, you got 10 minutes, 15 minutes to make a better decision. But if you choose to go into another school and you choose then to confront people at the other school, you're making it very clear to Mr. Daly that you don't want to be here at St. Thomas More. You're not interested in being part of our school. And that's fine, but that's the choice you're making. Do not enter another school. You're representing us. And when you do that, you're representing me and our school, and it's just not going to be tolerated. If you have issues with people at the other school, maybe they're treating you badly, maybe something has happened, please report it so we can call over. I have friends on every administrative team in the city and we will deal with it. But if you choose to confront it yourself, it's a problem and you're choosing not to be here. Similarly, uh, as we started this second semester, I'm noticing a lot of things that I remember back when I was a vice principal that would happen with grade nine students. And again, it's because a lot of you are experiencing what we are having right now, which is regular school for the first time. And bad behavior and insults that are being ca cast around the, the building are now causing conflicts in our washrooms, in our fo forum, and et cetera. And I just want to reiterate the message that I've said to the people involved in these things, but I want everybody to hear it. When somebody does something bad or insulting, you pr pretty much have two choices in a high school. Number one is just to recognize probably not a big deal and just ignore it. But I recognize, depending on what was said, that's not possible in all cases. Somebody issues a racial slur, or somebody is harassing you or insulting your mother or your father, your parents. These are, these are significant things and your blood is boiling. At that point, you need to report it. 
Okay, and then let us deal with it. Confronting it yourself in a washroom or meeting somebody at a plaza is not the next step. So again, you have an option when, when you hear of something. And by the way, a lot of times people are just feeding rumors, but you have an option. Your option is to ignore it, which is my recommendation, if it's not a big deal. And if it is a big deal, then you report it. But confronting it directly, put yourself in a situation where you're gonna suffer school consequences if things go badly, and it often does. With that, I wanna recognize again, I keep talking about this, washrooms are not a place for congregation and meetings and chats and whatever. Frankly, I don't know why anybody would go to the washroom to meet with friends when we have a cafeteria available to us. Okay, it's actually pretty disgusting. So please stay out of the washrooms. Washrooms are for washroom business. And finally, if you haven't seen it, I want you to walk by the second floor hallway up in the library area. I saw about 30 or 40 kids uh, uh, observing it today. It's a great thing. The honor roll board is up. And for those of you who are maybe not aware of what that means, if you achieve 80% or above in your eight classes on average, you make what's called the honor roll. We set the all-time record for honor roll here at St. Thomas More last year, so pretty much anybody who was in school last year is on it, but it's actually pretty awesome. A uh, thousand of our students were on the honor roll last year, and if you got 80% or above or you wanna check, go up to the board and take a look at it. I wanna recognize the good work of the office staff who have compiled that list. Uh, it's a big team effort. In the end, the finishing touches were put on by Mr. Marlin. Mr. Young and Mr. Marcelli, who was a glorified pair of um, vice grips. He, he, was, he was hands. So thank you, Mr. Marcelli, for that contribution. But Mr. Marlin and Mr. Young put a lot of work into it. I hope you, if, you're on your, if your name's on that list, I hope you get a chance to enjoy it. And if it's not, I hope you plan on doing all the things you have to do to make sure you're on it next year. So with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Good morning, STM. Congratulations on completing another semester. And to the grade nines, a special congratulations on completing your very first semester of high school. I wanted to let all of the grade nines know that my LMS page is up and running, and there's two pretty exciting and important events I wanted to draw your attention to. Number one. The University of Toronto Engineering Recruitment is holding an online presentation designed for grade nines and 10 students. It's an overview of the engineering program and you can go onto my LMS page to register for the February 10th workshop. Also, on Tuesday, March 8th at 6.30 p.m., the University of Toronto Mississauga and St. Thomas More are partnering to bring black families of the St. Thomas More community a Black Access to Educational Excellence presentation. This informative presentation is designed to help black students and families access their academic goals. You will learn why you should consider going to university, preparation for a university education, you'll learn about the University of Toronto Mississauga, university expectations, application process, and financing a university education. The uh, link to register for the Black Access to Educational Excellence presentation is on my LMS page. If you are in grade 10 or 11 and you are interested in this presentation, please speak to one of your guidance counselors. I hope to see many of you there. Again, it's on March 8th at 6.30 p.m. And the reason it's in the evening is because we hope that your parents or circle of support can join you for this valuable presentation. Congratulations once again, STM. Excited to start a fresh new semester and looking forward to continuing to meet the rest of the grade nines shortly. Thank you. Did you know that in order to graduate from high school, you need a minimum of 40 Christian service volunteer hours? These 40 hours need to be recorded and signed off by a supervisor who can vouch for the hours that you complete. Wondering where you can find out more information about accumulating Christian service hours? The Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board has a fantastic and informative Christian service website. You can find this at hwcdsbes.com. This website supports and assists each student to become involved to believing, achieving, and serving in the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board and community.
You can also easily access and find the website through your My Class and or LMS account. The link appears in the announcement tool with the heading Secondary Students HWCDSB Christian Service Volunteer Program. Students are able to view this announcement as soon as they log in. The website provides students with the opportunity to view current community opportunities, download a Christian Service Activity Record form, provides information of approved and eligible Christian Service opportunities, as well as provides the name and contact information of your school's Christian Service Animator. Serving others is at the heart of Catholic education and has always been a central part of Catholic schools in Hamilton Wentworth. Helping others both close to home and across the world reflects both the example of Jesus and the teaching of the church. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact your school's Christian Service Animator or email Lucia Marchionda at cshwcdsb at gmail.com. And one last thing, make sure you follow the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board Christian Service Program on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, which all can be found at CSHWCDSB. Thank you, Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board students. Individually and together, we make a big difference in the Hamilton Wentworth Catholic District School Board community. Good morning, STM. My name is Micheli. And I'm Claire, and here are your announcements for today. Attention all swim team athletes. For all swimmers who ordered team spirit wear, it is available for pickup in room 310 during periods one and three. That's right, for all swimmers who ordered team spirit wear, it is available for pickup in room 310 during periods one and three. The after school tutoring program for students taking grade nine to grade 11 math this semester runs every Tuesday and Thursday in room 256 from 2.55 p.m. to 4.25 p.m. Parent permission forms can be picked up in guidance. This message is for United Against Racism members. There will be a meeting today after school in the lecture hall for all members of the Michael Monk Outreach Committee. See you at 245. Attention all wrestlers. Tomorrow there will be a meeting after school in the cafeteria. Please bring your singlets. We will be distributing your spirit wear. Thanks STM. Have a great day. Since the early beginnings of Canadian history, people of African descent have made significant contributions to the development of our great country. The number two construction battalion served Canada proudly during the First World War. William Hall became the first Canadian sailor, the first Nova Scotian, and the first black to receive the Victoria Cross. Mary Ann Shad Carey was the first woman of African descent to edit a newspaper in North America. African Canadians have made their mark in music, in sports, and continue to make contributions to many aspects of Canadian life. Celebrate our proud heritage. Celebrate Black History Month. Good morning, STM. My name is Melania, and I'm here from your Student Council. To continue celebrating our Valentine's Day Spirit Week, Student Council will be hiding this bear in places around the school. The first person to find the bear, take a picture, and send that picture to our Instagram, they will receive a candy gram on Valentine's Day. A reminder that our Instagram can be found at STM underscore council. Good luck, Knights, and have a great day. STM, those are all of your announcements. The time is now 827. Have a great day.